honestly, we don't even know where we are going to in this country. Some days ago, we talked about uh, the incident that happened in Delta State concerning the Hesme. And the governor of that state went to visit those communities and he was trying to console them, telling them they will bring all of those who committed those atrocities, they will bring them to book. And we were like, you know, the man ought to have known what has been happening in that, uh, you know, in the country, you know, for you to have, you know, put some measures in on ground to make sure that such things do not happen. But what do we see? Nothing. It's still the same story, the same speeches, you know, here and there, the same rhetorics we are going to, we are going to. And recently we heard about uh, the reports, according to, you know, people that really, whether they caught those people and what have you. And they, during the interrogation, they found out that the uh, people that, that got repented, according to the federal government, they had to recruit back into the system, into the into the army yeah that's it honestly i'm not even surprised and i think i was saying it in one of my videos i said that even me as a person even when i'm walking on the street when i see soldiers i will have that that double mind that hmm, you know that could this particular person or this particular soldier be one of the people that were released that the government released from this uh, uh boko says the, the the mindset is already there because you there's no way you are going to identify them okay this particular person who oh, is a is from this a boko set or these are the real soldiers that we already have in on ground the doubt will there be there and that is just my own uh personal opinion what i felt and what i think because even if we have a the real soldiers who like maybe they like like one thousand and you have a like ten people who came from the uh, boko set how would you be able to differentiate them? You will not know. In as much, even if it is only one person you have, anybody you see, you'll be thinking, ah, maybe this person is from the other side, is from this other side. So not to tell, talk of what happened in Delta State. We can hear it from further interrogation that these people came and they've discovered that these are the people that they released. We were saying it because this, what is the rationale behind their release in the first place? And even if you want to say, okay, they have repented, is there no way you can put them somewhere or whatever? Does it mean we don't have people who are ready to join the army? Who are ready to join the soldiers? Does it mean we don't have the numbers? We don't have the population that it will only take the federal government to put them back? Or is that the part, part of the condition this uh, uh, the Shika will give to them that since now he's saying that before the Chibor guests can be released that his people must be released? Or is that part of the condition given to them that if you release them, that you have to put them back into your system. Does it work like that? I don't understand. I don't understand because I don't, I'm not seeing any political correctness. People always come and tell you that, oh, that uh, in other nations, nobody will come out and tell you that they are negoti negotiating with these people. They are always doing all of those things behind, uh, behind the scene and whatever. you. Okay, if at all it, it just happened that way. So, is, has it got you to the extent that you have to still bring them back? You said they have repented. How, how did you know that they have really repented genuinely? What are the measures that can convince you that really they have repented? I don't understand. If there's a way you really want to help them, that would save you a different board game entirely. But I can't even fathom is the reason why they will be put back or they will be brought back into our soldiers. That that that's a that's a profession. I don't know how to put it. That's a will, like, will I call it department or that's a that's a office or that's that sector. It's a very, very, very important thing to any nation. When you talk about the army, talk about the soldiers, they are very, very important. Their position is very, very important because they have those people are the people who are there passionately because they want to, they want to help their country. It goes beyond even whether uh, whatever money or whatever. Because in the first place, for you to say, I want to go and join these people because irrespective of what you are being paid, they are supposed to even be the highest paid people, irrespective of how much they are going to be paying them. It's not something because you know that. It's, it goes beyond that because anything, anything can happen. It's 50-50. 50-50. And even those who are even marrying the soldiers, you give them, I give them kudos because it's not easy. I could remember, I don't know, one of the army general was talking about it, but I don't know, I can't really place my, you know, my mind on the particular person that said it, that even when they go out, most of the time, their wives will be, you know, they are always like, oh, I don't know whether my husband will come back or he will, uh, he will be alive or he will come back. So when they see them, fine. And if they go on on their whatever, you know, they still have that double mind. So it's not really, it's not a tea party, even for those women marrying those uh, soldiers. 
you give them kudos because it's not an easy thing because you know what you are going into that anything can happen so it is not a a place that you can just bring any other any other person that they say all in the name of repentance and the question i'm asking whether they are part of the people or part of the conditions given to the federal government that after releasing them you say yeah, they are decent you will not bring them back into the system it's 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 beyond logic to me i don't know about you so with what we are seeing and with the interrogation with the reports we are getting that the people that accompany this esme to go and commit these atrocities that they were they uh, released the uh, boko people boko set of people that they were released that the government recruited into the army you can imagine that kind of a thing whether uh, people are saying you oh, know oh maybe the investigation has not from what they are saying investigation and interrogation from the people some of the people that they they they, they captured and also i don't know what the government governor or the government of uh, the states will still be doing they are still playing politics with all of this these people are not nice these people are doing this in over and over again, and they are all over the place in the country. In every state, they are there, and they, you are coming out to say uh, uh, people should not take laws into their hands. The same thing the president said: you guys are not doing the normal, uh, the, the needful. You are there. The, all this kind of thing are happening, and I just said that that these things have been happening in other states. I see no reason why at this age and time any governor should not be prepared for all this kind of a people. Now you are allowing such a thing to happen at this because you know it's not really adding up to me. What were the measures you put down? Even if you if you tell us that and it's been happening in Delta State before now, if you are if it has not even happened in your state, a typical example is what is happening in 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 all this uh, 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 Igbo 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 land in Benue State. That one is uh, even if we are not even talking about uh, the one in the rich houses. What about the the one in the middle bit, especially? Benue State. Is it not for all other governors to have prepared themselves that in case because these people are all over the place? You are not waiting. You are saying people should not take laws into their hands. Is it the same government that you that is bringing these people back into the system that you want to report them to? Is that what they are telling us? Because people like you know it's to be as if one is encouraging this thing, but the government itself encouraging these people to do more because nothing is going to happen to them. Paraventure, if they are being caught, the next thing is to recruit them back, tell you that they have repented, and, and what are you going to do? It's really, really appalling. And I'm not even happy with the, the, the Delta State gov governor coming out to say hey, this and this and that. Those people who are who are mourning now, you will go back to your office, you go back to your house, meet your children. You just come, you just visit them, you go back. What happens? Nothing. And that does not mean that some such a thing will not happen again. The... The, the, the chances of this kind of a thing not to repeat itself it's not as if it's there it will definitely see happen because they are not going to do anything when an Amdekanu was talking about uh, how he came to the country for his parents barrier and one thing that just struck me was that see there is no security which is true you cannot even rule that out you can't even rule, rule it out that there's no security and there's no security everywhere is porous everywhere is porous so how do we expect such things not to happen again in Delta states? Because even it ought not to have happened in the first place. It's been happening in those states. It's been happening in other places that these people are aware of. Why did they not put measures in ground before allowing these people to come and be taking people's lives just for nothing? It's like, the, you know, human life is not even, is not nothing again in the country. The next thing they will just going to come and visit and uh, they will tell you uh, we are working towards it and it will happen. I could remember when the president's wife said that if things, if uh, uh, nothing is being done concerning this uh, insecurity, that it will have, it will be happening over and over again. And since then, more than one year, she said it. Then go and uh, go and take go and take note of what has been happening since then. Has it not been happening? Then what has changed? Nothing. So I pity the people. If the people cannot hold their their government or their their governors, their leaders responsible. Now they go see so far because this one people go come, they tell you say eh, eh, do na do where eh, and na do make una no do this and that they go tell una eh, sweet sweet words but like they always say action speaks louder than voice we need action not all they say come and say do 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 forget all those do you you no go help anything no you no go help anything nobody can even nobody can even doubt it because like me I have my own reservations because if I see any soldier man on the road. I will be having doubts. Hmm. Maybe this one safe. Eh? Maybe not be the person where they release, or no being they even release, or they recruit food for inside inside me. It's like that. It's like that. 
if the, the whole government could be doing such a thing, that means <laughs> hmm, there's fire on the mountain, no? If you ask me, there is fire on the mountain. Somebody is asking here that uh, where is Asari Dokubo? Did he train anyone to take his place before retirement? Every family needs one Asari and one Fanekayode to withstand the enemy at the gates. Where are the Niger Delta Avengers? Sad. Hmm. Now, wow, that is it. Too. Where are they? Someone said there was a country I weep for Niger. The police is compromised and we do nothing to help the communities. And that is the fact. How many how many cases have they handled concerning this SME? How many? How many? Someone said, in fact, they will release the enemies if at all they are found. Urubo people should rise and defend themselves before the Fulani overruns Urubo land. Ukowa should set up an apparatus like Amotekun to flush out the criminal Fulani and sponsors from Delta. We should wake up from our slumber to defend ourselves. Where is our Niger Delta militant? For God's sake, how are we going? To, how are we going to be sitting there and fold our hands and allow these people, evil vampire, sucking blood, full and satanic people, to kill us and take our forefathers' land from us? These people are heartless. Hmm. They have no mercy on anyone, not even newborn babies. Yes, that is it. They have. They are not nice. These people are not nice at all. They are not nice. They are not saying you. Just they, they make your governor, they tell you, say, one thing, one thing. They talk, waiting, no, waiting, no deal in line. They're not get these people, no, send you. Just like what somebody said, even newborn babies, they're not send you. You, they, 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 they politically correct. You know, they, you don't go put measures in place to, to, to deal with these people. Like I talk, this thing, they even divest me. Why the governor, governor go wait up to this time with all the things where they happen? And it's a, it should be a lesson to all that governors with all that. Uh, all that have been happening, you want to tell us until it will now happen to you, NASA running a task later. It's unfortunate. They, they need to do something. The masses need to hold their governor responsible. They should hold them responsible because you cannot just be saying, hey, Nado, 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 we, me na no, me na no uh, 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 revenge back, me na no take laws into their hands. But what should they do so that this kind of a thing will not happen in the first place? So, guys, uh, let us hear your opinion concerning what is happening. That the so called released Boko, uh, Boko Haram people, you know, where the soldiers are accompanying these S men to commit these atrocities in those uh, affected areas in Delta State. Leave your comments below and let's have your take. Thank you very much. Bye.